In this video tutorial, we are going to be answering the construction question for 2019 GCE paper 2. The construction question came as question number 4 and I'll go ahead of you in reading. Please follow al along as we read the question on the screen. Construct a triangle JKL in which KL is equal to 8 centimeters. KJ is equal to 6 centimeters and JL is equal to 10 centimeters. A2. Measure and write angle JLK. Measure and write angle JLK. So there we've been asked to construct a triangle. The triangle J. K L. K L is equal to eight centimeters. K L is equal to eight centimeters. K J is equal to six centimeters. And J L is equal to ten centimeters. Measure and write the angle JLK. Measure and write the angle JLK. So that's the angle you're measuring and writing. So let's construct that. JK is 6 centimeters. And then we've been told that uh, KL is equal to 8 centimeters. So let's measure 8 centimeters using your protractor. Sorry, using your compass. Let's measure 8 centimeters using your compass. That's 8 centimeters. Then JL is equal to 10 centimeters. So let's measure 10 centimeters using the compass. That's 10 centimeters. Let's connect. Eight centimeters, ten centimeters. So let's measure at that angle, the angle JLK. So to measure it, we can rotate our plain paper in that way so that uh, we put it where we'll be able to measure properly. Um, make sure that your alignments are correct. So like I've been saying in the previous videos that you make sure that the black line on the protractor there aligns with the base of the triangle which is being constructed in that way. And the very end of um, L there of the line JL, it should be perpendicular to the 90. Uh, we measure 10, 20, 30, 40, 30, okay, 30, 35, 1, 2, 3. So this is something like 38. That should be 38 degrees. That's 38 degrees.
So we indicate that the angle JLK is equal to 38 degrees. The second part of the question, which is 4B says, within the triangle JKL, draw the locus of points which are 5 centimeters from J, 5 centimeters from J, 3 centimeters from JL, 3 centimeters from JL, so it should be something like that. And equidistant from JK, equidistance from JK and JL. So what we are doing is this. The first one is 5 centimeters from J. 5 centimeters from J. So this measurement should be 5 centimeters. The second one is 3 centimeters from JL. So JL is this one. So you draw two arcs, this and this, then you connect them with a straight line and the distance from there coming to touch that line should be three centimeters. And the last one is equidistant from J, K and J, L. J is, is the common one, so it will be a line crossing through J like that. To represent the equidistant of JK and JL. Now let's draw these locus we've just shown there on our diagram. So the first part says five centimeters from J. So measure five centimeter on your ruler. Five centimeter from J. That's five centimeter from J. So you indicate that this is five centimeters. The next one is three centimeters from JL. So let's measure three centimeters. That's three centimeters from JL. So we can rotate this paper, make it be like that. Stand on the line JL any point at any point of the line. Do that, that's three centimeters, and anywhere else on the line, and do that. And the topmost parts of the arc, the two arcs you created, is, is where you're, you're drawing a line touching the topmost parts of both the two arcs you created. So the distance from there to there, that is three centimeters that's the equidistant from j l that's the equidistant from j l all right the last equidistance that we are drawing is um, equidistant from j k to j l j k to j l so it's one coming across there so we use our our compass so you 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 just uh, reduce it a little bit maybe even up to there you do that and you do the same on the other side. Enlarge slightly. Stand there and draw a small arc like that. Stand on the other side the same. On the other side on this small part. This small arc you have created there and do something like that. So when you stood there, you drew this one. When you stood there, you drew this one and they met at that point. So that point is what you connect to J.
So this line represents the equidistant of JK and JL. Finally, we go to our last question, which is D. D says a point Q within triangle JKL is such that it is greater than or equal to 5 centimeters from J, less than or equal to 3 centimeters from L or from JL, and nearer to JK than to JL. Indicate by shading the region where Q must lie. So Q has three conditions to satisfy. And the first condition it must satisfy is that Q is greater than or equal to 5 centimeters from J. So 5 centimeters from J ends on this arc. So it is greater than or equal to, so it should be above there. So in short, everything beneath going this side has been cancelled. We are going in front there. All right. And uh, the next condition to satisfy is that Q is less than three centimeters from JL. So JL is ending here. So less than means less than less than three centimeters. The three centimeter line is this one here. This one which we drew here. So less than it means it's on this side, on this side. And the last condition is that it is nearer to JK. It is nearer to JK than JL. So this is the line representing that shows uh, the equidistance of JL or JK. So we've been told it's nearer to JK. If it's nearer to JK, then the only area which remains is this one. This is the only area that satisfies the conditions which we have been given. So this small area is the one which we are going to refer to as our point Q. That shall be our point Q. With this having been done, thank you so much for watching this video tutorial. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.